Good morning and happy Tuesday. Right, your maths challenge today is to complete a Rangoli pattern in your home. And there are some really beautiful examples here. Um, you might have heard of Rangoli designs before. Um, they are used, um, they are made during um, the Hindu festival of light, which is called Diwali. We learnt about this earlier on in the year um, during Myths and Legends, an IPC topic. So um, they're often made using coloured rice powder, um, really detailed, take a lot of time, um, and just a really beautiful way of celebrating that festival. So there are some examples there and some more on this page too. So you want you to get some inspiration from here. Okay, so um, check with mum and dad first before you start using um, your floor tiles. Um, you might well have some tiles in your house or you could kind of mark some out. I'll show you how to do that. Um, find things in your house that you could put in the space. So things like rice, Lego, crayons, paper, stones and pebbles and you need to have um, four, at least four of those that kind of match. I'll show you that in a bit. So your first job will be to gather bits and bobs. Um, then wherever you're starting, okay, you put you place your objects and then you need to rotate, okay, you need to turn um, into each new square of the grid so that you are repeating that pattern. Okay, so start on the top left and then go this way around so that um, when you turn the each item is in the same place in the next box okay and you can build it up gradually and I'll show you an example that I did in a minute okay so you can use whatever you've got um, and be creative as you can so using different shapes different colors different levels so you could have different levels of height you could have high things you could have low things so it's kind of 3d curves and straight lines so if you've got something like pencils you could kind of shape them into a curve not just having them straight okay so this was my um one that i had a go with in my house so i had some like uh, electrical tape so i kind of marked off my four tiles um like this to start with I then went and found things that I had in my house that I had four of that, that pretty much matched. So you had to kind of go and have a little look and make sure at the end that if you are borrowing things, putting things um, into your maths, that you put them back in the right place at the end as well. Okay, now you can start off quite simple and you can build this. So I started off with a little cardboard rockets and as you can see, um, put them into the top left square first and then turned and then turned and then turned, okay, like that. Then the next one, I had some cans of soda, so I just popped them in and I need to put them in the right place so it's kind of where the arrow was of the rocket was pointing to, so making sure it's the same for all the squares. Then I had my pens, then I had bits of paper, and I just built it each time, so adding one set of um, objects each time. Then I added in little co coffee capsules and then I added in the camels and I had to make sure that they were all facing in. Okay. So the way to do it is to start with just one thing and just keep building it. Okay, mine was pretty simple, but you could keep going, adding more detail into it and more colour and just a whole variety of objects. So level one is to keep to that two by two grid, which is exactly what I did. So two squares along, two squares down, um, using whatever you can find in the house. Level two is fill in the gaps so you don't see any space on the ground. Um, try using some curves as well, so just kind of keeping going, adding in much more detail. Level three is to increase the lines of symmetry. Okay, so instead of having four sections, you might have six. So you would need sort of six of each object um, and you could have different shapes as well. So you could kind of, if you feel confident, go for something like that. Okay, we can't wait to see your creations. Enjoy this, folks.